Hi everyone, well, I hope you enjoyed the new theme tune. Draw a longer, longer lantern. Da, 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 da. Thought it was high time I sorted that out. I said ages ago in the first video that I was going to sort out a little theme tune and an opening title. So there we go. Now, everyone, we are still under weird times. I am in my new studio. I'm on my own with just hand sanitizer for now, and then I'm gonna go home after this. But I thought I would introduce the new Draw Along a Lenton. We are drawing Nancy the Spider today from, again, the Nothing To See Here Hotel. I'm so pleased that so many schools are using this book to add humour and um, a bit of respite in these weird times as well. And I hope that you can carry on reading it and drawing from it while you're at home as well. But I thought I'd quickly show you my sketchbooks. We're gonna draw a character called Nancy. Now, Nancy, um, ended up looking quite different to my sketchbooks. There are some ideas that I had for Nancy. She ended up looking a little bit more like this. See, she looked a bit too scary at some points. When you're designing characters, you have to make sure, you know, make it clear if they're a goodie or a baddie. And sometimes being a baddie, you have pointier features. You might be big and scary. And the problem with Nancy that we had was she is big and she's a spider, but we had to make her not as scary. So we gave her some fun glasses, an apron, and she's always carrying a tray of tea around with her. So you know she's not a terrifying spider. Anyone scared of spiders out there? Well, don't be scared of Nancy. Here we go with our next draw along. So, to draw Nancy, the Orkney Brittleback Spider, and that's where my accent will end, we are going to draw, first of all, around here, we're going to draw two shapes like this. One, and a little end, and another slightly larger, sort of leaf shape. They're like two leaves, okay? Then we're going to draw a little pointy nose, a little triangle. Then we're going to draw a little mouth, okay? She has a little smile like that. And she's got two little fangs. Two little fangs from school are we? Okay. Now she's got, how many spiders, uh, how many eyes spiders have got? They've got quite a lot. Nancy has eight eyes, okay? We'll start by drawing the two main eyes. One there. And one there, like that. Then we're gonna draw three more circles in each pair of glasses, in each side of the glasses. So one, two, and we'll fit another one over there, three. And then same over here, one, two, and three. Then we need to put the pupils in, so try and make them all pretty much the same size. The good thing about Nancy is, because she's got so many eyes, she can look at different things at once, so they don't all have to be pointing in the same direction. She could be moon gazing up here. She could be checking her hairdo over here. She could be reading a book down here. She could be readjusting her hair up here. She could be reading a book down here. And she could be looking at you over there, you see. Imagine having eight eyes, it'd be very handy. Now she's got three long eyelashes on her glasses as well. Don't ask why, it's just how I designed her and we ran with it. One, two, three. She looks quite crazy, doesn't she, already? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the side of her face down and round here, like that. Now we're not gonna draw this side of her face yet because we need to draw the side of her hair, which is a curl. I'm gonna draw a big curl around like that. It's a bit of her hairstyle. And then we're gonna bring her face down to her chin down there. Now we're going to draw her necklace. She wears a beautiful pearl necklace. On the front cover of the book, if you've got it, you'll see that it's a very shiny blue necklace. Because we, it's what's called foil on the front of a book. If it's got shiny bits on it, it's called foil. It's quite pricey, so it normally means that the book's gonna do quite well because the publisher's got confidence in it. A little secret there. Okay, now we're gonna give her a curly do. 
a nice curly do. You can go a bit crazy. Curly, 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 curly do, curly do, curly do. Curly do. Well, that's a big curly do. Then what we need to do after the curly do is give her her hat. Um, now her hat is called a tamashanta. Tam O'Shanta, which is a Scottish kind of hat. What we're going to draw first is the pom-pom, which is another curly round shape like that. And then around that pom-pom we're going to draw the Tam O'Shanta. Right. Now to make the Tam O'Shanta look more Scottish we're going to add some tartan. And the tartan are just some diagonal lines like that. And then go the other way with your diagonal lines like that and that looks a bit a little bit tartany. It's a little bit tartany. Okay, Nancy's taking shape. Now we know, now what we need to do is draw her apron, okay? Now it's a bit like the heart that we drew with the Prince Grogbar, but you don't finish off the heart, you just do the top bit of the heart and then you bring the front of her apron down and up like that. She's got frilly bits on her apron. Frilly bits, frilly bits. Good, pretty bits, pretty bits, pretty bits. Join that up there. That's where her body meets her apron. Underneath that top bit of her apron, she has a little pocket where you might remember that Hoggett sometimes suddenly sits. And we're going to make that look a bit tartany as well. Like that, and then this way, like that, and add a couple more lines. And there's your little tartan shape. If you've got time later, you could colour that in. I recommend green, red and blue for your tartan. Okay, now we need to draw the rest of her apron, okay? So the rest of her apron comes from up here because she's got a big spider bottom up here that we're going to draw. Um, but first of all, we need to draw the rest of her apron, which comes down and round and up like that. And frilly bits, more frilly bits. Frilly, frilly, frilly. Frilly, 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 frilly bits. All right. Now, I mentioned she had rather a large bottom, and we're going to draw that now. It comes from here and goes all the way down, round, and into her apron. She has got a huge bottom. And also it's a big stripey bottom, so we're going to draw some stripes on it. One, two, I'll maybe fit another one in. Three, there we go, big stripey bum. Eee, she's got a right stripey bum, hasn't she? Right stripey bum. Now we're going to draw her legs. She has got four legs. You know spiders have eight legs, don't you? Well, what we did in the design we gave four arms as if they're legs, so we're going to draw them down here. One, two, and then two more down here. Three, four. Okay, so she's got legs down there. She wears these furry slippers, so draw one, two, and then this side, three, four furry slippers, and join those up as if her feet are going either side, like that, like Mary Poppins. And then the other four are her arms. So we're going to do her waving. So just draw dead easy these. One line coming up. And then she's just got a thumb and three fingers. One, two, three fingers like that. Make her have a little wave with your action lines. Then do the same down here. We might have one on her hip like this. So do a line coming down like that. And one, two, three, and a thumb coming around like that. Oh, sorry, just struggling with a bit of wind there. I just had my dinner before I made this, so I'm just trying not to burp on camera. Now let's bring the other line down from here on her other hip, like that. And then one, two, three, four fingers. And then we'll have the other one waving up here. One arm like that, and you guessed it, there's her thumb. And one, two, three fingers, and she's waving again. Now, maybe a bit more detail on her hair. I like to give her these curly lines. Curly lines like this, fill in her hair style, like that. And there you go, there is your... Nancy, the Orkney Brittleback Spider, eh? 
So how did you find that? Was that all right? She's a bit fiddly uh, in some sections, but I hope you enjoyed that. And there'll be more Draw a Longer Longer Lentons coming up next week. Mm -hmm.